My name is Scott Bartholomew. I'm an engineering technology teacher educator at Purdue University. I've been there for three years. Prior to that, I taught middle school and high school, and I've done research in all grade levels, elementary, middle school, and high school. When I started using adaptive comparative judgment, I discovered some great benefits to that approach to assessment. Adaptive comparative judgment is a, a completely different mindset to mm -hmm. assessment. Uh, I like to use the example of, a, of an eye doctor to describe what adaptive comparative judgment is. When you go to the eye doctor, the eye doctor doesn't sit you down and present you with a, a board full of options and ask you to identify which of those is the most clear so that they can then determine your prescription. That would be a very stressful and, and hard experience for people. What the eye doctor does is they show you pairs and they say which one of those is better. And that's a much easier decision to make than it would be to try to go and identify out of a whole variety of items which is the best. And the same thing holds true in assessment. Teachers really struggle to identify is this item a 7.3 versus a 7.5 because there's so many options and, and they really don't know what good looks like because they haven't been exposed to all the different items. In adaptive comparative judgment, the algorithm does all of that for you. You simply look at pairs of items and the algorithm goes through and pairs those items for you to continually look at and then produces a rank order. And similar to an eye doctor who at the end of that process has a very precise prescription for your eyes, at the end of an adaptive comparative judgment session, you have a very accurate rank order of the student work from the very best all the way down to the very worst. Adaptive comparative judgment is very applicable to a wide range of topic areas as well. This approach is really useful when you have an ill-structured problem. So any type of scenario where there's not a single right answer, whether you're assessing anything from student portfolios to essays to sound files to video production, any sort of open-ended topic area is a great area for adaptive comparative judgment because it makes the assessment process easier because teachers are able to identify what good looks like in a much easier way than they are in our traditional forms of marking.